So if y'all want an easy way of putting some of this Lucas transmission fix in, soak the bottle in hot water before opening it for like 20 minutes. Just hot water from the faucet and then connect the tube to the bottle. Slide her down in. And it's so, uh, it's so thin you can just slowly squeeze it without making a mess. I've already done half the bottle before I started recording. Sometimes you might have to pull it back out just to let some air in the bottle. But otherwise, she slides right in. And goes in, see, like, look, there's some air. Put some air in the bottle. Hard to see. Shit, am I blocking it? Anyways, there you go. put it back in, slide it in a ways, hold this up, and just keep squeezing. Oh, fuck, there goes my phone. <laughs> uh, story of my life. Try to do shit at night. In the cold. If you don't soak this stuff in water, the bottle in water, hot water, I should say, it, uh, it's so thick and gooey that it's a pain in the ass to use. So, this right here is pretty damn easy. Like right now. Oh, there's an air bubble. Oh, shit. That came off the end. I got a rag tucked down over my coil packs and my valve covers, so if it does pop off for some reason, it doesn't make a huge mess. But none has dripped so far. <gasps> Shit, it came off again. <coughs> there I go, I ran my fucking mouth. Look at that. After three quarters of the bottles down in there. I go the fuck up, right? <laughs> Why not? I didn't drop a lot though. I just see. Just a little. Wipe that tube off so it's not nasty and slippery. Wipe that end off. And just start again. My luck, my fucking phone will fall and break by the end of this, but that's all right. They got some new deals going on, don't they, at Samsung? <laughs> there we go. I'm guessing this is kind of like giving a fucking enema. Stuff a two up a tight hole and just pump shit up there. Right, about the same, ain't it? some air back in. Oh, there's only a little bit left. <coughs> so far so good. Make sure you wipe the tip like you do after every little, uh, you know. Just always make sure you wipe the tip after. You don't want it dripping like that. Probably a tenth of the bottle left. I just trying to get every little bit I can. This shit's freaking 20 bucks a bottle almost. It's only a 24 fluid ounce bottle. Oh, my outside light just went off. Somebody could have got me a new truck for Christmas. It is the next day. I mean, if this 
starts to get cold like it is now on me because it's pretty chilly out you can always just go in and put it back in the warm water just don't let no water get in the bottle come on you fucking thing every little drop yeah I'm trying to squeeze it easy because I don't want to blow the tube off the end again like that there's probably only that much left. There's probably only like that much left. I believe this shit is nasty. Sticky, fucking gooey. I got a fucking cold, I don't like it. Get on me, cocksucker. Let's do finish this. Let's finish this. So if you prepare a little more than I do and don't do this in the middle of the night, in the cold, trying to make a video with a fucking cell phone balancing, you know, probably would do it better than I will. I'm trying to rush and just get this done, make a quick video and get this in. So it's a little messy, but not bad. I've definitely done a lot worse when I first started using this in the, back in the day. Let some air go back in it. It's pretty much empty. Oh, there's the air bubble. Nice. You can tell it's getting colder because it's hardening up and taking longer for the air to go through. You can massage it a little if you want. <laughs> It'll help it go down through. And let me tell you something, these fucking Titans, I like them, but boy, why they fucking bolted the transmission dipstick in is, I don't know, I've only had one other car that did that. Stupid is all I can say. This stuff won't work right away. It's going to take overnight and a little bit of driving to get mixed in with the fluid and shit. So you can't expect results right away from it either. Put the air back in. Jeez, it's got to be running out here pretty soon. She ain't got much left in her. I can feel it. And you don't want to squeeze too hard. Remember that, because if you do blow the tube off, you're going to be squeezing hard, and it's going to come pouring out fast. So you want to be careful doing that. And the thicker it is, the slower it comes, but if you just took it out of the water, it's going to be thin, like oil probably. Oh, I think it's empty, well pretty much, very little bit left. Yeah, air bubbles, a little bit. Yeah, that's the end right there. She's empty almost. Yeah, that's the end. Now, I'll probably leave this upside down somewhere. Fold this up here. Oh shit, not what I wanted to do, but it's alright. Hand. Oh yeah, just like a fucking enema.
Not that I've ever had to get one before, so just saying. Look at that. No drip. No mess. There's a little bit more in the tube though, so let's try to get that out. Let's try to get that out. Let's try to get that last little bit out. fucking dipsticks they don't go only one way there there don't forget that 10 millimeter pain in the ass fucking bolt yeah. oh yeah don't move to Maine either because you'll get fucking acorns in your hood like I did from animals and it's a pain in the ass I gotta take my hood off to get them out fucking stupid Dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Rattling. Come on, get on there. Yeah. I already checked the oil and did an oil change yesterday and all that shit. So I'm good there. Alright. Right. Got my keys now. Let's see what happens. Take that bitch later. Not bad for 230,000 miles almost. Let's see what happens. Well, lights back in at work. Why do we do? Look at that. So they don't fuck with the camera. Oh, I gotta remember not to run them with my fucking tools out here that I got out here for free on the side of the road. So, even though I said you ain't gonna notice a difference right away, I'm still gonna take it for a quick drive just to work that shit through it and warm up the engine so it uh, thins that stuff out and like brings it down the tube a lot more. Just, you know, gets it situated. There we go. Fucking Titans have no turning radius. <laughs>
shirts already. I'm I'm fucking amazed. I don't even understand. Dude, this thing ain't clunking no more. Holy fuck. Wow, they thought the transmission was garbage in this thing. Well, guess what? 